Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this sheet metal part in Creo parametric. So let's get started. Now this particular part is having sheet metal gasset and different types of form. So in this video, we will understand about sheet metal gasset, forms, we will understand about punch form, die form, sketched form and flattened forms. So in my previous videos, I explained about all the basic design approach to design a sheet metal part in Creo parametric. I explained about these four options in detail. I explained about sheet metal join in detail. So if you have not seen those videos, then you must watch those videos to understand all the basic design approach to design a sheet metal part in Creo parametric. The links are given below in the description area and right there on your screen. Just tap the link and watch the video. Now let's understand the model tree of this part. So this part starts with a planar wall. This is the first wall then a flat. So if you have seen my previous videos, then you can easily understand the difference between flat and flange now. Now the same flange is mirrored that side, then one flange, again this flange is mirrored, then one sketch form, then couple of rounds, then circle cutouts, again circle cutouts, then the first gusset, then this gusset is mirrored, Again the second gusset and this got mirrored and your part is done. Now let's design this part from the beginning and for that go to new part sheet metal take a proper name and say ok. Now let's start with planar wall. Go to planar, select the top datum, normal. Now I will draw one rectangle. This dimension is 10 and this is also 10. You can make it equal. Say so, okay. Thickness I will consider 0.2 and I will say okay. So this is my first wall. Now the second wall is this wall and for that I will go to flat. I will select this edge. Now this particular dimension is 6.5 here. But if you see this dimension carefully, you will find that this is from bottom surface. Now this particular dimension is taken from the top surface. So if you want to change this dimension from bottom surface, then go to shape and select the second option. Now you need to select the bottom edge. So now this dimension is taken from the bottom surface. Now make it 6.5 and say ok. Same flange, you can mirror it or you can recreate, I will just recreate. This dimension is 6.5. Now the next flange is this flange and for that I will go to flange, I will select this edge. Now move this flange out, just like this, go to sketch, normal, now this dimension is 60 here, this dimension is not required, now add one line here, from here till here, now the dimension, from this line to this is 4.5. Now this line is 4 and say ok. Now the bend radius is 1 here, these two bend radius, 1. Now for previous two flanges also it is 1. Here also it is 1. Now this flange I will just mirror it using this datum. Now the next feature is round, so I will go to round and I will select this edge. Now 
Now this value is 2 here. Say so, okay. Now let's create some circular cutout. Go to extrude, select this face, normal. Take the reference of this edge and this edge. Draw the circle. This die is 2. Say OK. Make it through all. And say OK. Similarly, select this face, normal. Take the reference, this edge, this edge, this edge and this edge. Draw the circle. Now this die is 1.5, say ok. Now the next thing is adding the gussets. So in Creo Parametric, we create gusset by using form tool. So I have one form tool created to create a gusset. Let's see that. This is the form tool. Now see the model tree. So this is the sketch 2.5 by 2.5 with 90 degree angle. One triangle is created and then the thickness is 0.5. Once this is done, then one draft is added. If I edit it, you can see that the 15 degree draft is given to these two faces and the draft hinge is this particular face. So now this part looks like this and then one all around round. Now how to create all around round? Just go to round, select this face, press and hold control key, select this face and your round is done. Now this dimension you can play and you can get the correct value. So that is how this round is created. Now once it is done, I have added two instances here. If you go to tools family table, you can see that I have added one instance for 90 degree and another instance for 120 degree. The dimension taken is this particular angle to control the angle of this form tool. So that is how 90 degree and 120 degree is added. After adding multiple instance, just verify it and say OK. Save it. Now your form tool is done. Now that form tool I will bring here to create the sheet metal gusset. So to add sheet metal gusset, go to form, select punch form and browse the part. Select the proper angle. Now here you are getting a drag handle to this part which shows that there is a component interface added to this part. Component interface stores predefined assembly constraint which makes our work easier and faster. So I will explain component interface in detail at the end of this video. Now just assemble this part the way you assemble in assembly. So from this face to this face. You can change your placement here. So this looks ok for me. Now the second constraint. From this face to this face. This also looks ok for me. Now the last constraint is from the mid of this tool to this datum plane. So this got assembled. So just flip it. Now just change the direction of the form. It has to punch down. Now if you go to preview, you will see that gusset is created. Use rounds onto the placement edges. and your gusset is created. Now this gusset you can easily mirror it. 
just like this or you can recreate it if you want now one more time the same thing we'll do we'll go to form punch form and this time i will take 120 degree the second one now from this face to this face and from this face to this face then the last one is from this mid plane to this mid plane now if you see the preview it is coming down which is not correct just change the direction again you need to add the round onto the placement edges and say okay mirror it to this datum plane and it is done so we just used punch form to create sheet metal gussets now the next thing is sketch form go to sketch form this option allow you to create a form without having any tool just by sketch so i'll go to palette and here i will select this sketch i'll say okay now this dimension is 5 here and this is 1.5 this will be 0.75 and i'll say okay now just change the direction this depth is 0.25 now inside the option you have option called add taper now this angle you can play with this this is 60 degree this one again you have two different rounds here placement round and non placement round these rounds i'll say okay your sketch form is created without using any tool now one more option we have which is flatten form so these options when you select it it will detect all the forms and it will flatten all the forms now why this option is needed so when you go for flat pattern you get a nice clean flat pattern like this these forms get flattened easily this is because you have a option called flatten forms here but when you go for unbend it doesn't flatten just because of these forms so in such cases this option will be very helpful so you can first flatten all the forms and then you can go for unbend to perform other operations so i just covered sheet metal gussets and i covered some basic sheet metal design approach in creo parametry now let's understand the component interface how to add a component interface to any part so the component interface contains stored constraint or connections that are used to quickly place a component so it is like you need three datums from this part and three datums where you are assembling this part to assemble this part so that while assembling this part you don't need to select these three datums again and again so it reduces your amount of work and make things faster so let's try component interface so this is the footer get created when you add a component interface i will just delete this now to add component interface go to component interface now here you start adding the datums as per your assembly requirement so i'll select this surface first now once you select you get several options here you need to be little careful here so this surface is going and sitting surface to surface with a line then the second datum is this surface this is also with a line and then this particular datum this can be met or aligned but i will go with align and say okay your footer is created 
that means your component interface got added so this is how we add component interface now when you call this part as your punch tool you can see that by default your component interface is active you can change to assembly if you want now here your three datums are predefined so just by selecting other three datums will do all your work now once you have placed you can go to the placement and you can change it from here suppose this time i want some distance this side i can move it now see form punch is created i will just add the placement round so this was about component interface so i just covered sheet metal gussets and i covered some basic sheet metal design approach in creo parametric and i hope this will be helpful